Well, I'm assuming that you guys are watching this video because you're having a problem with disk air or can I read disk or no disk on your system here. The American Audio CDIs, 500s or 300s, slot loaders or the tray loaders. Well, this is a video that I'm, that's going to show you how to fix that problem and and it literally only costs like five to ten dollars it's like you have to buy this part on ebay the last time i saw it it was around five dollars it's because these are standard it's like they're standard everywhere this is a sony laser it's sony by made by sony and this is something that's standard on most of the cd players that i that i know of anyway well, anyway, so what I did on the CDI 500 MP3, I like took a, I mean, I'll show you right now what I removed, all the screws I removed. <clears throat> on the back of this um, CD player, it's eight, it's actually 11 screws that I removed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then there's, and then there's nine, 10 and 11 so these are all the screws here by the way well this is from that cd player that's an this is an american audio cdi 300 this is one of my other cd players and then so so now after you take those nine out you flip it over then you'll be able to take it all out you'll be able to take the front cover off but, but before you can actually remove it this ribbon you have to remove that and the, a better way to do that is using a screwdriver and just pry it open a little bit don't do it too hard or anything use a screwdriver like this one and then pry it open gently you know just gently on both sides then you should be able to take it out without a problem then you flip it over this is for the CDI 500 system. I don't know about the CDI 500, but this is a CDI 500 MP3. And then, um, what do we call? And then over here. So, with the slot loader systems, now the next step is to remove these four screws. Got to remove these four. These four. Four on each corner. And then I'll do it right now. Once you remove those four screws there, one of the four is this ground cable. You have to remove the ground cable so that way you're able to flip this over. But before you actually do that, you have to remove this. This is where the laser pickup is at. You know, you have to pull it out. It's kind of easy. Don't do it too hard. Well, if it's an old laser, then it doesn't matter. Well, anyway, and then you flip it over like this. And this is where the, the mother of the problem is at. And then to get to that part, you just remove these four. And it's like, it's kind of like a suspension type thing, you know. Remove these four, and then you'll be able to open it. I mean, this is a CDI 300. And then, and then, well, it's like, it's kind of like the same principle as taking the 500 apart. But this is how the the um, CD or the front loaders or the tray loaders look like inside. And then, you know, this is the, the, the uh, slot loaders are kind of like more enclosed, but we don't need to get into it though. This is the only part we need to get into. Over here with the tray loaders, we flip it around like after removing the same four screws. And then it's kind of like the same thing. It's like, this is like the, you know, like the um, suspension tie, and then you remove these four, and this is the same thing. They're all the same. So, I mean, you remove this, after you remove that, and then you get to this part, and this is where the disc spins, and then this laser, I mean, the laser, this laser is actually in here, in here. And then with this laser, you have to actually remove this pull, this post, this post. I'll show you how I do it. I'll show you how I 
get it. So, um, so the first step, is you need to remove this pose. That's the first thing you gotta do. And to do that, you just, you know, like you just get a screwdriver and you go like this. Just separate it with the screwdriver, kind of like that. And then you get another screwdriver and push it along. Push, or actually, you could use your hand too. You could just use your hand, like I just did. And then it'll start going the pull or post. Well, I don't know what they call that part, but it'll, it'll start going over this. Then you just pull out the post. And then instantly have access to the to the um, laser. And then this is the one that we took off earlier in the step. And then this, I guess, to make things easier, you just remove this um, this uh, pulley or gear. And then to do that, it's just kind of like see how it's like see how it's like it's like it's like connected like like if you need needle nose to pull it out, but it's actually better to push it from the bottom. So, using a screwdriver like this one, if you press hard, you only have to press it, you don't have to do anything, you know. You don't have to do any special step. If you push, if you press it hard enough, it's not gonna do any damage or anything. If you press it hard enough, then this pulley will come out. It'll come out, and this is the way the pulley looks at the bottom. Just be careful not to mess it up because like I say it'll cause agony because it won't be able to drive this up and down and then you'll have access to the laser and this is it and this is the part and this is the part that I had to replace on this one but yeah well you know like the slot loader it's this part that you're gonna remove it it's like it's on the bottom and you remove those four screws like I told you this one four of those but on this one, it's just kind of like the same thing. Removing four screws to take the thing apart. Same thing. There's one. There's one right here. One other. See how it goes down there. And then another one right there. And another. It's kind of like the same thing. And the screws are all in, in these little posts. Same thing. And then you would be able to access the laser and it's kind of like the same thing with the 500s so there's laser and um, what i'm actually done is i actually traded the lasers because i wanted to do i want the 500 to work and then after having put the thing back together i tried it and it's working now it's working now this one did not work before but now it does, but I don't know about this one. I'm going to put this one back together, see what it does, you know. But otherwise, I'm just going to buy a couple of lasers, you know, a couple of these pickups and have them as spares, you know, just so I, that way I'll have a CD player that works all the time, you know. So I hope this step was good for you.